We're going to be looking at geometric shapes and making new shapes in this lesson. We're at 10.3. We're going to do a real quick review. Here's some easy ones. You remember a circle, a rectangle, a triangle, and a square. A rhombus, that's a rhombus, it has four equal sides and it kind of looks like a slanted square, doesn't it? That's a rhombus. And a trapezoid, it has a top part that's smaller than the bottom part, and then the two sides are slanted. And then a hexagon has six sides, okay? So that's going to help us to know those, all right? We can make new shapes by putting other shapes together. I put one trapezoid, two rhombuses, or we could say rhombi. Either way is okay as a plural for rhombus. So I have one trapezoid right here, two rhombuses, and a square, and I made a ship. Here I used four trapezoids to make one big trapezoid. You can see the four separate trapezoids, and when squished together, it makes one big trapezoid. See that? I took four small rhombuses and squished them together to make one big rhombus. See? I took two trapezoids and I made a hexagon by putting them together. I took two, th three triangles and made a trapezoid. See that? I took two squares and made a rectangle. I could have added two more squares. I ran out of shapes. I could have added two more squares and made a big square, right? Let's make them all the same size. See? And it would have been one big square, see? But by putting two squares together, I made a rectangle, see? Here I took two triangles and two trapezoids and made a rhombus. You can see the two triangles and you can see the two trapezoids because they're different colors, see? And when I laid them like this, it made a rhombus. I took six triangles and made a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six triangles. And when I put them all together, see there's the six triangles, when I put them all together, it made a hexagon. Here I used two triangles and one rhombus and I made a bigger triangle. Let's do some critical thinking. We can make the same shape of the same size by using different shapes. Here's five trapezoids. One, two, three, four, five. And I used one triangle and seven rhombuses and made the exact same shape and same size. See, they have the same outline. I just used different shapes. Just like with the triangle, we can make the same shape. I can either make this triangle with two triangles and a rhombus, so it's like this, or I can use four triangles, so it's like that. It's the same size, see? I'm just using different shapes. We can have some fun. I took two triangles, two rhombuses, one trapezoid, and nine squares, and I made a house. I took one triangle, four trapezoids, and a square, and made a tree. This looks kind of cool. It's like a flower or a snowflake. That's 12 rhombuses. And look here, I made the head of a bird. And you can see that the rhombuses make the beak. See that? I could even put rhombuses together to make it look like the feathers on an arrow. See? It's just two rhombuses put together. See? So we can put shapes together to make new shapes. You can try doing this. If you have some construction paper or if you have some shapes that are like this, 
You can try making new shapes and see what happens when you put them together. Okay, I'll see you next video. Bye.